Hey everybody, a travel shave from Las Vegas today on Barbara Dave's Shaves and Such. Hey everybody, welcome to Barbara Dave's Shaves and Such. We're coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada uh, for the TSC Con. And real quick, travel shaves are always interesting. Now what I brought with me, I'm gonna be here till uh, next week. And uh, what I brought with me is probably the two of the easiest razors that I like to use. One is the Blackland Vector and the other is the Tedla. So I get the best of both worlds. I get, you know, what I feel is the finest SE shave and I get a, an approximation to a straight shave. The beauty about this is you can bring one blade and you're good to go. As far as my soap is concerned, that's where things get a little interesting. You can always bring a, um, a um, tube of Paraso or a shave stick, but if you really want to get a good shave, you want to have a hard shave soap. So what I do is I bring Williams. It's easy to pack in the dop kit, and all I do is I float a little bit of water on the top of the puck and get my brush wet and off to town I go. And I, I lather it right on the puck. And normally I would have pre-done this, but you know, when you go into a new location and you're looking at lighting and you're looking at all this other stuff, it's kind of funny to do a, uh, a shave in a, in a hotel uh, bathroom. And so what I'll do is I'll just take the excess lather And put it on because Williams Williams lathers so incredibly easy in my opinion and then off to town we go so I hope everybody's doing well for a Wednesday I apologize I didn't do any Monday or Tuesday shave because I was traveling but I figured I'd do one today Like I said, uh, Williams is so easy to lather. It's so slick. It's just got a very neutral, soapy scent, and you're ready to rock and roll. I will be using uh, the Tetalus today. Okay, here we go. And the nice thing about using uh, the Tedalus, uh, the Essence rather, uh, for a travel shave is you don't have to worry about stropping or honing. But as I said, you get that, that straight razor shave. We're looking forward to a good conference. However, uh, the weather is going to be in the 80s the next two days, 70s, high 70s and 80s. However, it's going to be in the 50s on Friday. Last night I uh, had a great sushi dinner with one of our members who actually lives here in Las Vegas. Really, really good stuff. And then we sat in the, the cigar bar here at the hotel and uh, watched the Hockey Golden Knights from Las Vegas and the, the Dodgers, uh, who both won. So it was a nice, nice relaxing evening overall.
Today is all preparation for the conference. Because people will start arriving tomorrow. So picking up all kinds of stuff for our hospitality suite and and stuff like that. It's always weird shaving in a new location or a hotel room because you don't have everything where you normally do and it's a little funky. I may do one other video um, while I'm here, as one of our members is bringing um, some soap, and uh, we'll check out how that is. It's a clown puke soap, which means it's an amalgamation of a whole bunch of samples and soaps and stuff like that. So that should be, that should be fun. I was fortunate, um, the room that I got um, has a wonderful view of both downtown and the Strip. So I've got kind of a 180 degree view of the highlights of Las Vegas. And then Mount Charleston in the background. covered in snow. So kind of a beautiful backdrop to look out the window during the day and then at night, you know, the whole strip lights up. During our dinner and conversation last night, I was very interested to find out that during the pandemic um, it was almost uh, according to Steve it was almost post post apocalyptic because literally you could go down because they shut all the casinos down everything and you could literally go down the strip and those of you people that have been to Vegas know that there's no easy way to get down the strip the traffic is just unbelievable um, but because of all the casinos being closed, um, you could drive down the strip and there was no one else on the strip. In fact, uh, according to Steve, people riding bicycles down the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard, people walking down the middle, because none of the lights were on for the casinos either. So at night, it was a very eerie thing to see um, to see that black hole of where the strip normally is um, be that way. So, really interesting. 
good shape. We'll get cleaned up and we'll go over everything we went went with today. So that was interesting. I did not know about that. That stuff that you know the general public didn't really know about too much of, as far as uh, all the casinos being shut down. And what was interesting is that the they couldn't take the money out, so they had to leave the money in the casinos while everything was shut down. And they hired security contractors to basically guard empty hotels from people just trying to rob and loot and stuff like that. He says it was really interesting. Our witch hazel today is going to be CBL. Uh, let's say a kubeba. Very nice shave, not, you know, your shaves are never as good as they are at home, ever. So let that dry down a bit. So again, our razor today was the Essence by Tedalus with a feather Pro Guard blade in it. The brush was the Sorrentino Barzini and that'll be what I'll be shaving with the entire week because everything's the same. Uh, the soap today was William's Mug. And I'll be shaving with that all week as well. And for me, that's not going to be easy because I get bored. Now, for an aftershave, you know, a tried and true aftershave that you can bring traveling and it will go with almost everything you do is Pro Rosso. I did not bring any talc, just too much to pack. And then I did bring some fragrance. Uh, this was one that uh, Tom, my good friend in New York, sent me. And he had it made. Just a very light, easy going fragrance. And that's it, folks. So, anyhow, thank you so much for joining us as we shaved from Las Vegas, Nevada at the TSC Con, and we're at the Boulder Station. So, if you're in Vegas and you'd like to come by and see us, uh, please do so. I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave Shaves and Such. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and we may see you again this week. If not, we'll see you back at the Casa uh, on Sunday of next week. Have a great day.